Hey everyone, it's Jen. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I have an exciting video. This is the uh, product preview for Scrap Diva Designs April 2024 release. I just got it in the mail today and I couldn't wait to come on and show you. Today is April 1st. These dies are going to be released on April 3rd. So make sure you take a look and see what you want to put on your list for the release day. Uh, I will have my referral link down below in the description box if you click on that and place an order I get a commission which helps me out and my channel thank you so much to everybody who uses that um, it doesn't cost anything extra of course and don't forget to use my checkout code my discount code at checkout which is strawberry cream and that will save you 10% and this is at scrapdivadesigns.com so again all of these dies will be available on Wednesday April 3rd so let's get started and there's something really exciting about some of these dies that I, I gasped out loud when I saw them so uh, those will be coming up in the second half of course they're all really fun and this is just a quick overview I'm not going to go through the dies and give measurements or you know look at all of them this is just a uh, just a quick overview to tell you what is going to be there and just to give you a, a general idea of what the dies look like okay so the first set this one is called the paint tube shakers and it comes with a large set and a small set and it looks like a little tube of uh, like acrylic paint or I guess acrylic paint or oil paint. And you can make a shaker out of it. It comes with like a paint, um, like a splatter kind of thing, labels for the paint tube. So super cute. It would be really fun to make this into shakers, which it is of course intended for and, you know, good to make for embellishments for your artists and crafty friends. So this is the first one, the paint tube shakers. The next one, this is called the Rainbow Pocket. And pockets are so great when you're making Happy Mail and swaps and even just to put into your traveler's notebooks or albums. Uh, cards too, I put cards on the inside or I put um, pockets on the inside of the cards that I make if I'm sending along a gift card or photos. So pockets can be used in lots of different projects. Even on the, people use them on the outside of like the Easter baskets and things like that. So pockets have so many uses and this one has a really cute rainbow on it that you can cut the rainbow dies in different colors and put them together. So it'll look so cute for you know, summer projects, uh, if somebody needs some cheering up or graduation, just rainbows are always appropriate, I think. So again, this is called the Rainbow Pocket Die Set. Next, we have the Handbag Topper Small. So um, the Handbag Bag Topper, sorry. So it's a bag topper and it's in the shape of a handbag and you'll be able to see it on the website more. Um, but it's a, um, you know, a bag topper in the shape of a purse. So it's super, super cute. And this is a small one. I'll show you the larger one. It's a little bit further in my pile. So good sizes for different sorts of bags. And of course, you don't have to use them for bag toppers. You can use them as embellishments as well, even cards. And even the small one is a really nice size. So again, this is the handbag bag topper small. Okay, the next one we have is the 3D Mini Vials gift box. So if you get those mini like vials, I think they sell them at Dollar Tree among other places and you can put like sequin mixes in it. It's great for Halloween because you can make things look like potions or you know, any season of course, but I like the idea of doing it for Halloween. So this, this is a little box and you can put your vials in there. So I thought that was really cool. I'm interested to get working on this and see how it comes together. I love the shape here of the box with the um, like cute detailing and then of course the stitch detail. So yeah, this will be really fun. I got to get myself some vials because I don't think I have any. So uh, yeah, I'm going to measure that. Well, let me measure that little circle just in case you want to see if you have them too. So the cut line of that circle is um, about seven eighths, I believe. Let me see. I want to get it precisely for you. So that's three quarters. It's about seven eighths. Um, you know, just to give you an idea. So that'll be so fun. Okay, the next one, this is the handbag bag topper large. So you could see what the two pieces look like. Um, isn't that cute? It's got like the, the like, 
puffy bottom of the handbag and then the ties at the side. This is going to be really fun to customize, I think. And I love this large size. How cute is that? It'll be perfect for Mother's Day, you know, for Mother's Day gifts. So there's that. This one I thought was so cool. This is the purse strap bundle. And look at how big this is. These are huge. Um, well, it's for purse straps, but you could use these for lots of different things. So if you got like... Um, what was the what the uh, scalloped Easter bag die set that was released in March? Um, it didn't come with the handle. So if you wanted to make a handle, you can use one of these dies and create a handle for something like that. Or you can use them for the Easter basket if you wanted to change up what the handle looked like. And these are really nice size as well. These look like they're, let's see, um, they're about, they're over 10 inches, over 10 and a half inches. So it comes with, let's say, one two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces. And you could probably even like layer two of them together. So really, really cute. This one has like hearts on it. This one is scalloped with stitching. Here's an eyelet strap. This one has like a wavy kind of border and they all have stitching, which is great. These are just rectangles, a small and large. And then there's another, um, this is kind of like an eyelet, but a little bit different than that one. So this, this will be really great to have um, on hand for your different projects, I think. And of course, they don't have to be handles. You know, you can use these as strips on your cards and, and pages and layouts and things like that. So that's very exciting. And then this is the start of the exciting ones, I think. Okay, so this one is called the Postage Stamp, die, stamp and Die Set. And as you can see, this die here is aqua. And I am so excited about that. It's just so fun to have dies that are different colors, don't you think? And I'll show you some more in a second. But this one, the Postage Stamp and Die Set. So this is the, the die here, and it's in the shape of a heart. And it cuts out the little circles, too. And it kind of gives it like a, um, like a, wavy uh, outline on the on the heart or a cutout and all the stamps are like happy mail theme there it's created with love hello friend miss you you are loved um, sent, mailed with love maybe happy mail sent with love and they all have little hearts on them too and then it stamps out the the outline of the heart as well so uh, super, super cute. And this will be great for the back of your cards or envelopes or, you know, anywhere you want to use it. It doesn't have to be. It could be the center of a, um, you know, embellishment too. So super cute. And I love this packaging design. See how that's different than the, uh, the older ones? So it's got the scallop trim on it and a polka dot. Oh, love it, Erica. Check out this one. This one is called the Cute Bear. And isn't that pretty, that packaging? And these are all aqua dies. So there is a, let's see, this is the larger set and the smaller set. And it's a super cute little bear. It embosses the face details, which is nice. So you'll know where to put the, the pieces that you cut out separately. And yeah, that's going to be really cute. Oh, can't wait to to try that one out. Uh, yeah, just love that new packaging and aqua dies. Uh, yeah, can you tell <laughs> I'm excited? This is like aqua land here. Speaking of aqua, here's another one. This is called the Mail Truck Mini Album. So yeah, it's a cute little mail truck and there's even like a door piece and different layering pieces. It says mail here. Um, let's see, hearts, windows. So th this will be fun, obviously, to make a mail truck, but you can turn it into any sort of truck, you know, like a ice cream truck or a taco truck or something like that. So it's fun to, you know, use it for its intended use and then to think of other things to use it for too. And it's really nice and big too, you know, it's like a hand size. So perfect for a mini album or other things. Next we have the, let's see, this is the snail mail gift card. And it's like a gift card holder with a cute little snail that cuts out of it. Isn't that adorable? And it comes with words that say snail mail in the shadow. So, um, you know, I, I'll have to cut this out and see what other people do to see exactly how it comes together. But uh, I think it's a beautiful die set. And oh, I just love the, the, the way it's presented, Eric. It's gorgeous. So nice. Okay. And then we have, you might remember the Conversation Hearts bundle from Valentine's Day. Here is Conversation Hearts number two. And these look very similar, but of course they're aqua and they have different sayings on them. There is Hello Crafty Friend, Handmade. Uh, you are loved. Let's swap. How fun for swaps, right? 
good goodies and the O's are hearts and you got this. So, oh, that's so, so pretty. I, I loved making those conversation heart embellishments. So it'd be nice to have different sayings for those. Next, we have the Happy Mail stamp set. And I am so excited for this because I had that, that postage mail die and um, stamp set I got from Waffle Flower. But these are different. I'd, I'd like these stamps much better. Look at the little snail. Isn't that so cute? Happy Mail, Snail Mail, another Snail Mail, cute Happy Mail with the hearts. Here's like a little, you know, like a fanfare kind of thing. Um, smile, you've got happy mail. Please deliver this happy mail too. And then there's the die that looks like a stamp. That one says, I think it says happy mail. And just all the different stamps to go with it. So, oh, I am so excited for this. I, lo I love stamp dies and, and uh, stamp stamps. <laughs> so we have that one. And then we're getting towards the end, but there's a few more. This one is huge. This one is called the heart gift bag. And again, it's the new packaging, the new aqua dyes, and they're just lovely. So, okay, so there's, it looks like these are, this is the side piece. So you cut that out twice, cut these out twice. It comes with the bottom attached to it, which is nice. Layering pieces, cuts out the heart, so you can make it into like a window, probably a shaker if you wanted to. I'm not sure what this piece is. Maybe it's like a closure or something. I don't really know, but um, we'll figure that out. So that's just beautiful. Like I said, I, ha I just got these in the mail, so I haven't had a chance to, you know, look at them closely or play with them yet, but I definitely will soon. Okay, next we have the um, swap bag envelope. So this is cool. This is like a decorative envelope you can make. Um, let's see, it's got so many different layering pieces. Again, it's aqua. So you know how you can make like, um, like an envelope and make it into a shaker and fill it with cute little things but the envelope is part of the embellishment as it is so i think that's what this is for too um it comes with this heart like uh double heart that closes kind of like a paper clip it looks like and this this goes here it must have just come off the tape and that says mail and happy so many different ways you can layer your papers i love the scallop frame part here so, and then there's like a ribbon um, banner too, layering piece for that. Yeah, I'll have to start with, this will be on the top of my list too. I want so many on the top of my list. And then we have one more to share with you today. Look at this. This is called the Snail Mini Album. And you can see how big this is, this packaging, the snail itself. So it comes with, like a mini album usually does, it comes with the base piece, the layering piece, which is stitched, and then this cute snail with all the details and the cute little face, and it's aqua too. So how nice is this gonna be in your craft room? And I'm sure they work beautifully too, of course. Anything Erica does, you know, it's good quality. So um, this is just taking it up a notch and I am loving it. So this is everything that is in the, the April release. And these will be available again on Wednesday. So make sure you get your list together if you want to order any of these goodies. And of course, anything else that's in her shop, these will just be the newest things. Again, my referral link is in the description box. I'd appreciate it so much if you use that to place your order. And to save some money, don't forget to use strawberry cream at checkout to receive 10% off. All right, everybody, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'll be back soon with projects with these dyes. In the meantime, I hope you're doing great and I'll talk to you soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, everyone.